hello sweetie welcome back to my channel this is sweet aj i am super duper excited to see you all today i have truly missed you all i hope everyone is doing wonderfully well as you saw from the title what is in my suitcase what did i bring from ghana sneak peek <laughs> yes i brought this whole pot from ghana but there is a purpose i need it for something and i'm going to share that with you all in just a moment but until then we're gonna start from here i found these mini earthing pots these these are so beautiful my cc went to buy it and she bought a lot and i brought them all and these ones are like the oldies i remember these as a child i also brought this I have the chili calabash yes if you see calabash what do you think about mm, maybe hausa coco maybe and they had these mini ones <laughs> i am just a mess i don't know what i got them for but they're here and what does this look like we may be scooping some things so I have those. I bought another um, ato. What is this called in English? I don't know, but it's the grinder and a mini one. Maybe now Momo will start learning how to <laughs> grind. And the big, humongous chini. But since we have the chini, I also brought this. Ta-da! Y'all will not believe what is in here. I have asana recipe already on my channel but that is for those of us outside ghana if you're not able to come across the real corn you can use that recipe but if you're in ghana i know you can definitely get corn at times i can't get the dried corn over here so that's how i use the other crushed corn and i made it work but now since i I'm coming from Ghana. Yes, this is the corn ready made for me to use it. Hmm, it's, it, it already smells like Asana, my sweets. Trust me, this is what it looks like. Um, I have some of the corn. I'm going to show you all the process that you get this, but um, or if you have somebody in Ghana that can do this for you even better. You can, because my auntie made these for me and so for me to just bring. So whenever I feel like Asana or uh, Medan, because it is the same method they used to make Asana. It's what they used to also make Medan. I don't know if y'all can see it, but this is what it looks like. Yes, it's like germination of the corn and once it germinates they leave it out to dry very very well and all that process have already been done for me so if you have somebody in ghana that could do this for you oh my goodness you will be having asana every time you can just take this much and make a small batch of asana and enjoy all medan for uh, the ones that we I remember as a child they use at naming ceremonies so I'm really really excited about this so I'll be sharing the asana recipe with you all now once you bring it um, it's nice and dry but I prefer to keep this in the freezer but if you live like in America in the UK in the summertime if you come across the corn dry it dry as much i mean germinate as much as you can and then dry it up and store it um through the winters for whenever you want this because in the winter times it might be i guess you could do it inside but drying it may be a problem so yes i have this all right <laughs> <Ta -da! laughs> i have been to a no long talk i'll put this aside <laughs> also i brought um my favorite cocoa lady my favorite cocoa spot she uh, showed me the authentic way to make hausa cocoa and also the things that i need these peppers are quite hot they're so nice and although i'll be able to get um 
I might I won't be able to get this type of pepper but I'm sure I will find cloves I have the clove I have the pepper and I also have the millet the millet that I'm gonna use to make the house cocoa we came prepared <laughs> I've never when I go to Ghana, I don't bring this many stuff, but for the love of the sweet team and the Coco lady also directed me to Nima Market where I got this. But this is this is like a um a curtain. This is just a curtain that they sell. When I got there, I'm like, oh, this is a curtain. So you could get this um instead of the flower sack cloth, you can get a regular curtain like this. I don't know what this cloth is called. I don't know. <laughs> but it's that's what she said is the best to see your cocoa. I also brought margarine. The margarine from Ghana does not need refrigeration because well, I don't know. It's like flavored shortening. That's what I see this as because the shortening that I have in my house I keep it outside I don't keep my shortening in the refrigerator and it seem as it um, it seems that Ghana they don't keep their butter and the uh, brand that my cousins recommended was the cook brand it's actually very good they already have salt in it so when you do use it you have to be careful but yes I brought one <laughs> and I also brought these pots I don't know for some reason I became fascinated by it and I had it made from scratch for me yes so I'm going to be trying it out to see how I like it it's a little it's a little rough but yes I brought that I didn't just bring that one I brought two because I had to have a, a mini one okay I also brought some food coloring for making cake and flavor or oh, is this also color let me check i think this is all the food coloring all the food coloring in here which you should be able to get anywhere and if you're in ghana they have vanilla extract they have the uh, vanilla essence in case you want to get that they also have um pineapple pineapple essence smells so good and i also brought the butter flavor i love this stuff and this is what it looks like i know uh, whenever i use it most people want to know um where i got it from like this one will last me this one does not expire until 2022 by then i will have another one so yes i brought that and i fell in love with this um tasty tom tasty tom um tomato paste i brought that too um when it's not very red but it, it's it's just the i don't know it's something about it it's so delicious that when i was in ghana i made jollof rice with it and i absolutely loved it so i brought that too i brought some cookies for the kids shrimp powder and also if you're gonna bake this is the baking powder that uh, my sister recommended she said it is very very good so yes um, and finally, I brought cherries from the baking session. You can get it here, but I decided to bring some. It's just regular cherries that we, we're going to use in some baking, okay? And whenever you're bringing stuff from Ghana or wherever, when you're traveling, make sure you have it all wrapped up especially if you're going to keep your clothes and other things in your um, luggage you need to make sure it's nicely wrapped so in case anything bursts open it's gonna stay in your ziplock or whatever bag that you're using i also brought oh i nearly forgot somebody requested that i made uh nani flo which is um pork feet or pig feet 
stew so i brought that my husband does not eat pork so i hardly cook it but again for the love of the sweet cream i also brought some smoked blooper i'll show you i did not want to keep that outside so i i threw it in the freezer until i could make this video so with the smoked blooper what we did was first put it in a bag like this and then wrapped it with a foil and then put it in another bag before we traveled with it so this way nobody will smell it so yeah this is all the stuff that i brought from ghana look out for the recipes that i'm going to be making with them and i'll be telling y'all how i like them some of the things i already know others um i'm gonna try now okay lest i forget the pot i brought this pot so i decided that i'm going to put together a no oven series so hopefully i'm able to come up so i needed a pot that to me would do the job i felt like this this pot would do the job only they don't sell it singles i had to buy the whole set. all right y'all i hope you are excited to see the things we're gonna do with all these things that i brought from ghana i hope you are because i am i am very very excited and it is all for the love of the sweet team i carried everything well but the kitchen sink with me <laughs> thank you all so so much my vacation was amazing seeing family members you know hanging out with people that truly loves you and want the best for you it is very overwhelming it is very sad to leave your country and be somewhere else but if we lived in a perfect world nobody would leave a home that they love to be somewhere else but like they say if life gives you lemons make lemonade so yeah we're here we got to make the best of it and we have to thank God no matter what the situation is. All right. Thank you all so, so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you're a new subscriber, welcome to my channel. This is Sweet Angele. Thank you so much for subscribing. And to the Sweet Team, I love you all so, so much. Until I see you in my next video, stay safe, keep loving each other, and remember that the love of family is life's greatest blessing by your